We are closing in on 1,000 subscribers. Holy cow. Can't believe it. You guys have been watching the, the channel for a while. Like, what would you like to see done to improve anything, the experience for you for the channel, you know? What's the number one thing that you're looking for me? Um, in a lot of different areas. Number one, I mean, type of content, you know? What is the type of content that you like? Um, it's taken me a while to kind of figure out what works and what doesn't work and uh, what gets a lot of views and what doesn't. Um, but just, I've always tried to be real on this channel. And um, what do you think um, is the type of content that you're gonna wanna see? Also, what's the content that's like your least favorite? Like, what do you not really care to see? What would you like to see less of? Or maybe something that's like, you don't mind seeing it every now and then, but maybe it'd be good, you know, advice for me. Um, don't hold back, just let me know. Also, what do you think about like the format? Is, are the videos too long? Do I need to like really cut things down, especially the montages and things like that? Do you like the montages? Uh, do I talk way too much and I, I need to cut that crap down quite a bit? What video topics have I not covered that you're like dying for me to go over? Is there something that you see me do or uh, that I'm just not covering that you really want to see? Another thing that I have been considering lately is a name change for the channel. Um, when I first started the channel, I only started it because I was moving from a small shop to a larger shop and I thought it would be a good opportunity to kind of show the new space. Um, and I thought it'd be a good starting point for a channel. And I quickly did it under my business YouTube channel. I, my business is really set up for local business. I'm not an online shop. I've never tried to capitalize on the channel and try to sell to you guys because first of all that makes me very nervous i'm not one that really wants to do that that's not the whole purpose of this channel also i talk very candidly about my business on this channel and i don't necessarily want that on my local audience and so when people google mr postman print shop my videos are popping up and so that's kind of an issue so i kind of want to separate that I don't know. Um, what are your thoughts on that? Would it be a good move if I did change the channel name? Um, are people gonna get really confused by that? Or since I'm still kind of early on in the channel, it's probably a good time to do it. What are your thoughts on that? Any thoughts for a name? Uh, I've thought of a few things like number one, what kind of sets me apart is I am full service. Um, I am in a rural county. And so my, my market is rural. I'm kind of a, a big fish, or yeah, a big fish in a small pond. Um, you know, I thought of things like the rural printer or something like that, because that's kind of what I am. And, um, and it kind of defines, you know, quickly and easily for you, um, you know, what my situation is and how that might be different than what your situation might be. So anyways, if you have some ideas on what my channel name should be, maybe there's something I'm, I'm not even thinking of or considering, or maybe you think I should just keep it the same. What are your thoughts on that? Production value for the channel. So I do own a video production company. I could have my crew come in and do something really fancy, but uh, that would get expensive and it's not really a good use of their time. And you know, I record stuff on my phone. I don't use a microphone. Is that an issue? Do I need better sound quality? Do I need a better camera? I mean, I did just recently upgrade to an iPhone 15, um, but you know, uh, I, I like shooting on the phone because I can quickly edit on the phone using Adobe Rush. And so that's been really good for me. Um, I feel like if I had to download footage onto my computer, spend a lot of time editing, I'm just not gonna do the channel. And so to me, it's like, you know what? When I'm at the doctor's office and I have a bunch of footage and I can edit it right there while I'm waiting and be productive, 
to me, that's the best use of my time. But do you think it's worthwhile for me to use a better camera, use better audio equipment, that sort of thing, lighting? What do you think? All right, guys, so I do have a little bit of footage from what we did this week. It wasn't a huge week, but here's a little bit of footage. Well, what we did here at Mr. Postman this week. It's what happens when you forget to select valid pixel only on the UV clear. Ah. That's all I have for you this week, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. You know, a thousand subscribers, holy cow. You guys know I had like 23 subscribers for the longest time. I know who most of you guys are. I've met a lot of you in person. Um, then I had a hundred subscribers for like the longest time. And it's really snowballed lately. It's really cool. I do appreciate it. I hope you guys get value out of what I'm showing here. And, um, I just want to thank you guys for tuning in and being a part of this. I hope it's helpful to you guys and it's cathartic for me. And I learn so much by putting my stuff out there, showing my mistakes, learning from you guys. That's why I do this thing. So kudos to you all. I really appreciate it. Thanks for watching. If you haven't subscribed yet, please consider doing so. Take care.